that? A rare one. It's strong, and to the victor go the spoils. Old man Sakaki's gonna have a fit when he sees this. <laughs> I'd like to see some reinforcements out here. If we're all done here, let's call for Exfel. I'm starved. Speaking of, what are they serving today? Admittedly, I wasn't paying a lot of attention at the last supply meeting. Wait, just remembered. Some new engineered corn or something. Ugh, you mean that same overgrown corn on the cob fiasco? It's so hard to chew. Yeah, we're having a bit of a lean year. We should be glad we're getting fed at all. Hey, Soma, how about a trade, huh? You like corn? Don't think so. Come on, if we're not back soon, we'll get a lot of nothing. Interruption, Director. I believe Norn has found a match. A potential new type God Eater, sir. Very good. Send the data to my personal terminal. Summon them. There's potential, but they must first clear the test. Congratulations are in order. You are the very first of our new type God Eaters. Brilliant! You have passed the test, and well, now that we're certain you're a God Arc match, we must ensure your welfare with a short physical. Please, wait in the lobby just beyond the door. The doctor will see to you shortly. And do let someone know if you feel unwell. I have great hopes. Too? That makes at least two of us. How old are you anyway? Well, I've still got a nanosecond of experience on you. Pleasure to meet you. Stand. Huh? Stand and to attention. Now. Excellent. I've got a busy day planned, so we'll keep this quick. My name is Subaki Amamiya. Senior operator here at the Far East, and I'll be your advisor. 
Your schedule is as follows. A full medical workup followed by a gamut of physical conditioning. You'll be taught basic combat strategies and tactics and given a brief overview of God Arcs and Armament. Until this moment, God Eaters have put their lives on the line to defend you. Now it's your turn to repay them. If you plan on staying alive, every order will be answered and enacted immediately. Understood? Am I understood? Ma'am, yes ma'am. Better. Now, as to your exams. Let's begin with you, shall we? Orders are to report to Dr. Paylor Sakaki's office at 1500 hours. Until then, you're free to tour the facility as you wish. Welcome to Fenrir's Far East Branch, which we affectionately call the Den. This is your home now. These teammates, your family. Godspeed. Didn't expect that. You were here precisely 726 seconds before I anticipated. Interesting. I am Paler Sakaki. <laughs> Dr. Paler Sakaki, the chief of Aragami Tech and R&D. I'm certain we'll be seeing quite a lot of each other over the coming days. Welcome aboard, new type. As you can see, I'm still a touch busy at the moment. Things to do, screens to watch, uh... Johannes, why don't you do your speech thing, and then I'll go. Sure. Though, Doctor, I think it is high time you learn to prioritize between work and personal research. Thank you for taking part in the aptitude test. I know it is not pleasant. My name is Johannes von Schicksal. I'm the director of the Far East Branch, reporting directly to Fenrir. Once again, congratulations on your acceptance. I know you shall do great things in your time here. Don't let the speechifying fool you. He's an ex-tech guy. No doubt the new type medical exam is calling to him. A tech guy? Do keep in mind that I hung up my lab coat because we have you now, Doctor. Once a scientist, always a scientist, Johannes. Perhaps. In any case, if I may return to my speechifying. The Fenrir Corporation has many goals, of which you are now a critical part. Your direct duties, while crucial, are rather simple. You God Eaters hunt down and destroy Aragami and gather their materials. These materials are then converted into resources. They help maintain this base and supply the upcoming Aegis project. These numbers? There's no way they can be right. The Aegis project will defend humanity in our utopia. A fortress at sea, impregnable to origami assault, located near the deepest part of the Sea of Japan. Ah, of course, of course! Once the final phase of the project is complete, humanity will be able to live in peace again. Free from these monsters. <laughs> Amazing! The new types are a miracle! Taylor, I am trying to teach something. 
Oh, right. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just these readings. They're beyond our wildest hopes. Then it seems the future of humanity is in good hands. You will do us proud. And on that note, I shall place you in the doctor's hands and take my leave. Paler, be sure to send the results. I believe we're ready to begin. Go ahead and lie down on the bed just there. As the exam begins, you will feel a bit drowsy. I assure you there's nothing to worry about. When you awaken, you'll be in your quarters. It's a, uh, catnap, so to speak. Shouldn't be more than a few hours. 10,800 seconds at most. Sleep well. Lindo, the director said that if I saw you, I should tell you he wishes to meet with you. Awesome. Sounds like you didn't see me then. Oh ho! Hey there, Rook. The name's Lindo Amamia. According to various documents, I am your superior officer. But I never paid much attention to that crap, and neither should you. In game, I want you to be someone who I know has my back, and I'll have yours. Oh, who's this? A new recruit? Yup, and you're totally ruining my big scary speech about our brutal coda, so shoot! Of course, sir. You're the boss, sir. Now I lost my place, so we're cool, yeah? I'm sending you out into battle, and I know that's scary, but look, I'm gonna be right here with you. Got it? Oh, and look at the time. It's half past mission. Let's go!
Man, this place has seen better days for sure. All right, Rook, we're gonna get some hands-on experience today. You got three big rules. Don't die. If you're in danger, frickin' run. And last, hide. Well, not hide, use cover. Stealth wins fights. Wait, is that four big rules then? I'm gonna bottom line it for you. Survive. Actually, yeah, let's say one big rule. Survive. All right, kid. Let's get this show on the road. Hey there. This is our first field op together. I'm excited to work with you. Now let's get out there. We're fighting little ogre tails today. Should be a pretty basic hunt. Nothing crazy or unexpected. I know it's your first time in the field. Just remember to stay calm. Watch their movements and strike when you see an ogre. Yeah, so you shouldn't stand right in front of that monster. Get crushed. Arundami falling back. It's going to try and find some meal. Hey, go! Hey, hey! Finish! Target Arundami has been neutralized. Well performed, God Eaters. I don't just hand out compliments. When I say you move well out there for a recruit, I mean. of ground to cover. So, what do you say we just jump right in? Now, what do you think an aragami is? Lots of words come to mind. The apex predator, the devourer of mankind, God's given flesh. Well, those are all right, in a way. These phrases, while dramatic, aren't misconceptions. Rather, you could say they simply evolve from wonderment. The speaker clearly has their eyes fixed on the phenomena before them. Today, we are striving for a deeper answer. Tell me, have you ever wondered from whence the Aragami come? History books tell us that they just appeared, as though from the air itself. Since then, their numbers have grown. Strange, no? As though they are ripping through the very core of evolutionary process. <sighs> hey, hey, does this lecture have an intermission? Or a point? Our job's to kill them. What does it matter where they come from? Oh, it matters. Whoa! Aragami have no heart. Neither do they have a brain or a digestive system or spinal fluids. Frail humans that we are, a powerful strike to the chest would cripple or kill us. But no, that won't bring down an aragami. You see, these beasts are clusters of oracle cells, each individually a single cell organism of its own, ever devouring the others. Mad? Ha! Perhaps. But each aragami is a colony of hundreds, nay thousands of individual life forms, each striving to survive. And this dangerous, deadly, elegant fusion of cells cannot be destroyed by conventional weapons. They are impervious to all assault. So, how then are we meant to survive? How can we defeat such a powerful predator? Um, well, they die when we hit them a lot with the God Ark, or shoot them a lot with the God Ark, so... Precisely! A God Ark! A biological weapon infused with the same oracle cells that inhabit an Aragami's body. That's the key. They are the only weapons capable of cutting through their ever-fusing oracle cells. But just cutting them down will do no good. The rogue cell colonies will grow and heal, or worse, form new monsters to be defeated. No, there is only one way to ensure victory. Tearing out the core. The cells that serve as a control center. But of course, such a task is challenging to say the least. Even with our god arcs, we have no way to deliver such a devastating blow. At some point, people recognized in these monsters, in their immortality, the spirits of the many gods once worshipped here. They deem these creatures aragami, and we fight them still. I think that's as good a place as any to hold for today. As homework, please refer to the Norn database for more on the history of aragami. Dismissed!